This video explains how to add variable labels to a data frame object using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to four of the code. So after running these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set called data is appearing. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line five of the code. And then you can see that our data frame contains five rows and the three columns x1, x2 and x3. Now, in order to add labels to these data frame columns, we also need to specify what should be contained in these labels. And we can do that, as you can see, in lines seven to nine of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data object called my labels is appearing at the top right. And we can print these labels to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 10 of the code. So as you can see, our labels contain three different character strings. So the character string, my first variable contains integers, is corresponding to the first column. The second column x2 contains the label, my second variable contains characters. And the third variable x3 should contain the label, my third variable contains only one value. Now, in order to add these labels to our data frame, we need to install and load the hmisc package, as you can see in lines 12 and 13. I have installed this package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 13 of the code. And then I'm also creating a duplicate of our input data frame because I want to keep an original version of our data frame, as you can see in line 15 of the code. So after running this line of code, a new data frame called data1 is appearing at the top right. And at this point, this data frame is exactly the same as our input data frame data. Now we could check the current labels of our data set using the label function of the hmisc package, as you can see in line 17 of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that currently our three variables x1, x2 and x3 do not contain any labels. So if we want to add our labels that we have specified before as new variable labels to our data frame, then we can once again use the label function of the hmisc package. And to this, we then need to assign the labels that we have specified previously. And in order to do that, we can use the slist and match and names functions. And within these functions, we need to specify our data set and the vector containing our labels. So after running lines 19 and 20 of the code, our data frame is updated. And we can see that by applying the label function once again to our data set. And after running this line of code, you can see that our data frame data one contains the three labels that we have specified before. So in this first example, I have explained how to use the hmisc package to label the variables of a data frame. However, it's also possible to use the labeled package for this task. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line 24 of the code. So in lines 24 and 25, I'm first installing and loading the labeled package. I have installed this package as well, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 25 of the code. And then I'm also creating another duplicate of our input data frame, as you can see in line 27. And in the next step, I'm using the set variable labels function of the label package. And within this function, we simply have to specify the name of our data frame and we have to assign our previously specified labels to this data frame. And then I'm also storing the output of this in the data frame object data2. So after running lines 29 and 30 of the code, our data frame data2 is updated, as you can see by applying the label function to this data frame, because now you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that once again we have assigned labels to our data frame. However, this time we have used the label package instead of hmisc. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. 
In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.